Hi guys, welcome to our uh, second tutorial on uh, structural modeling for architects, engineers, and for the students who are uh, following our uh, vlogs. This is not a um, structural engineering tutorial. This is basically structural modeling tutorial using Revit as a software. Of course, we all know that if you need uh, to get your building, your structure design, you go to the architect. And the architect, to make sure that his building will be structurally safe, he will always go to his structural engineer. Okay po, um, this is our second uh, tutorial and I hope you stay with me. Before that, let's have a little bit of an intro. We thank all of you for continuing to follow us. We have now reached 200 subscribers. Maraming maraming salamat po mga kaibigan namin arkitekto at engineers. And hopefully, yung mga upcoming architects and engineers natin na nasa universities ngayon, hope you follow us also. So you can learn Revit as early as now, learn BIM as early as now, so you can put it in your studies, use it for your projects, and hopefully when you go out of the university into the real world, you'll be ready. For the Welcome po to my YouTube channel. This is BIM Smart with Aris Baza. Hi guys, um, welcome back to our uh, tutorials. Dito tayo sa pangalawa nating uh, lesson. Tuloy lang natin yung ginawa natin earlier uh, structure. Here I'm trying to show you this green plane. Ano ba to? If you delete this green um, plane, you will also delete the, the the slab itself. It is part of the slab. So let's undo for now. So what is the best way how to remove this plane? Are we gonna reset? So select lang natin separately. And if you delete that, again, I delete yung slab natin. If we hide it, see what's gonna happen. We isolate it, select all of it, and then hide them. Yeah. So the best way is to just select the category that uh, analytical line. So at this time we're trying to uh, edit this lab. Let's go to the um, floor plan. Now let's select this lab and click edit slab. So we gagawa tayo ng butas sa slab to uh, create an, an opening in the slab. So, so when you create a rectangle inside the rectangle when you're in the edit mode magiging butas na yan na natin sa 3D see, we zoom in na butas na yung slab so Revit is reading another shape which is inside the shape of the slab as an opening, as a hole so pwede kayong gumawa dyan ng circular pwede kang gumawa ng any shape that you need to suit your design
Okay, let's continue. We're selecting the columns at the uh, se uh, second floor of our uh, structure. We usually select um, the column uh, using our control key to select multiple items. Okay. So our attempt here is to copy the the columns at the uh, second floor and place them at the roof. First attempt failed. And let's see what happened. Okay, let's select them again. Oh, by the way, I'm waiting for your comments and waiting for your suggestions on what would be our next uh, topic. Okay. We're doing basics, so I'd appreciate if you can um, limit your limit your requests to the basic tutorials. But if you want advanced uh, tutorials, we'll put that on the lineup and. Uh, when we start our series doing advanced tutorials, that would be very much considered. Marami salamat po. Now, we are using the, the copy clip and uh, pasting it. Still, we have a problem because Actually, the problem is we don't have another le uh, another level above the roof. So usually, when you copy a, s a, a column in uh, structural modeling, the base uh, the base level where you paste it has to be the top level. So the best solution here is to create another level. So uh, in a little while, I'll show you creating another level in um, in isometric view and uh, we're trying to fix it using uh, changing the 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 base level and the base of the but it's not working so these are common mistakes that you will encounter when you are starting with BIM. I've encountered this and many of my students encountered this in, in uh, some of my lectures and uh, classes. So here we are, we are uh, copying the, the level. So in, in uh, isometric mode or perspective mode you can do it. And now we are going back to copying the columns. Just checking that there are no doubled elements. Because we've just set up our um, copy clip. And we have uh, another level where we can paste it. Yeah, check now. Now let's uh, select all of the columns. Remember to go click on your uh, control key so you can select multiple items, multiple elements. There. Paste it. Align to selected level. Now you already have your level 5, which is the level above the roof. Yeah, so it, it, it properly pasted. But the problem here is there is a, there's a base uh, offset that was minus 600. Let's set it up to zero. Yeah, Malana. So these are the details that you need to look at when you are uh, pasting elements. They might uh, clash with uh, other elements. So better to check them. And actually, Revit shows you an error when these things happen. So 
So next up is um, all blue beams. Let's go to the level five. shows the columns of the upper floor above the roof now let's go to beam select the beam type that we'll be using the we can add in yung, uh, uh, rectangular concrete uh, reinforced concrete uh, beam so you just have to click from uh, edge to edge of the columns to create your beam you can also do it from one column passing through several columns and to another column no worries when you quantify this um, it will not double the, the, the quantity so let's just check and, and get this aligned right there yeah, okay now. Let's check the 3D view there. You've just made your beam. Next is we'll do uh, beam systems. What's the difference between beam system and the usual beam system? So the beam system is a series of beams. So when you click the automatic layout, kaya ang kanyang mag-select you have options to have a fixed distance let's set it up to 1000 1 meter and hover your mouse to the vertical or horizontal beam which is the, the frame of your beam system then you'll see the direction of the beam coming Again, and the beam type that we're using is 300 by 600 there you go of course always click your check button so just ignore this ignore this uh, message for now that's fine So as you can see, there's this um, orange line or red dotted line that defines the, the beam system. It is selectable and if you want, you can remove the beam system. Now the individual components that made the beam system will be independent to each other. You can delete some of them some of them okay. so in our part let's uh, delete them and let's create another beam system okay this time let's uh, use another type of beam we'll do a, a steel uh, beam square section select one side and the other side as well to create sort of a, a crisscrossing a grid beam yeah, let's see what happens why is this single line coming this is basically because of my level of detail let's put it to fine now let's look at the three thing there you just created your beam system
So that has been our um, BIM system. Next up is creating uh, creating uh, bracing. What we're showing you are options when you are doing structural modeling, highlighting some of the common mistakes that you will encounter. So, nasa 3D mode tayo. Let's try to draw in 3D mode. Yeah. This is a diagonal bracing. Yeah. Oops, you can see that the elements went out of control. Napunta siya dun sa malayo. Sa ilalim ng building. Let's delete them. So how, how do you avoid mistakes like that? And just make sure you delete the elements when you create them and it goes out of control. Um, so, so it will not be uh, um, not be something that you need to delete later on. So now we are in plan view. Let's set up our uh, work plane. Pick a plane. Now we're picking a plane which is the edge of the slab. And it uh, brings you to the north elevation view. Yeah. This is a little better. Let's do a framing it's from the elevation view. You can snap it to the center of the column. Yeah. This looks better now. Is it the correct way? We'll find out in a little while. Let's check out the 3D. Looks fine. Let's look at the isometric. Go the other way. They are not on the correct plane. As you can see, one edge is at the edge of the column and the other is lying on the middle of the column. This is not how we wanted it. That's wrong. and then it goes to the edge on the other on the top part so let's delete them and let's try another way let's go back to our plan view so in this case it would be best to have a grid as your reference let's have a grid on the horizontal grid and let's have another one on the vertical you can see the names of the grid that's grid one and grid two and now if we set up our grid set up our reference plane you can just uh, pick a pick a name that's grid one okay it will bring you again to the north elevation now let's go create a brace again Let's look at the 3D. Yeah. It seems to be in the same, in the correct grid, but what what, we, what the mistake we made is that nakalimutan natin na doon pala tayo dapat sa first floor na gumawa ng bracing. Let's go back. Let's do the correct brace. Let's snap on the, in the middle of the column. They should be just fine. Let's look at the 3D. Ito na. You can see it uh, is projecting from the middle of the column. 
it intersects the other brace and goes in the middle of the top column. So that has been our uh, lesson. Thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you in the next video.